So first thing we want to do when we're looking at this problem is we want to find our amplitude. Remember, amplitude is the absolute value of A, your number in front. So here I have a negative 1. So I can say the absolute value of negative 1, obviously is equal to 1. Automatically, I know since I took an absolute value of a negative number, I'm going to have a reflection. And that is going to be a reflection of the x-axis. So I need to make sure I take note of that. Then the next thing is to find the period. This one's going to be a fun one. So the period is going to equal, remember, 2 pi over b. So remember, we need to figure out what is the number in front of b. I'm sorry, the number in front of x. So, so far, I have a 2 and a pi that are in the numerator. But remember, those are those, both those numbers are being divided by 3. So my b I mean, is equal to 2 pi by over 3. Okay, you guys have to understand that so many students will just say it's 2 pi. No, 2 pi is divided by 3. I thought it was it be 2, 2 pi, pi over 2 pi over 3. No, no, I haven't, I haven't plugged it in yet. Oh. I'm just trying to get everybody to understand the b. Okay. The b is 2 pi divided by 3. But now when you plug it in, so you get 2 pi divided by 2 pi over 3. <clears throat> So then we're like, all right, well, how do we get rid of a fraction on the bottom of a fraction? We multiply by the reciprocal, which would be 3 over 2 pi. That now cancels out. Then I have to multiply by 3 over 2 pi up top. And essentially what we have is 2 pi over 1 times 3 over 2 pi. Okay. So what you guys can see here is now these are going to cancel out. You're just left with three. It's not going to be fun for our four or four points, but we'll get through it. Um, then, so we found our period, and we look, is there any hor horizontal or vertical translation? No. So we can just go ahead and graph this um, as is. Got the reflection. I'm going to do the reflection right off the bat. So we know our period is 3, right? So let's go up to 3. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, I counted out four, I counted out four different sections, not as units of 1, but remember of our four important points. Remember their sine function starts here, and it goes through. It's going to have a minimum and a maximum. Now, sense of reflection, I'm just going to remind myself to go down, right? So my graph is going to have a maximum minimum of 1. So it's going to go down to here, up to here, and it's going to end here. Now my only problem is I need to figure out what are these intervals. They're not by 1. So what I need to do is I need to say, I need to take, since there's four of them, 1, 2, 3, 4, I need to take 3, and you divide your period always by four important points. You, for a sine graph, you have maximum, minimum, <coughs> intercept, and the end of the period. So therefore, what I'm doing is I'm adding 3 fourths. Essentially what I'm doing. So first one we're going to have is obviously 3 fourths. Right? Then a 3 fourths plus another 3 fourths is going to be 6 fourths. Then the next one is going to be um, nine fourths, right? And then really this one is going to be twelve fourths, which we reduce down to three. Okay. So if you just wrote them in the fraction notation, that's perfectly fine um, for me. Obviously, you can reduce this down to three halves. You can't reduce nine fourths, um, and this we reduce down to three. So we can reduce this one down to three halves. Okay. So that's how you set up your graph. I'll just go through the steps one more time. First, find the amplitude. Determine if there's a reflection. That's going to tell you which direction, down or up. Determine what your period is. You're going to have some math sometimes. Then, once you have your B, divide it by 4 to find your increments. Then just simply graph it. Yes? How do you find the reflection then? If, if, the, if your A is just like a parabola. Remember when it was negative, it opened down, and it was positive, it opened up? 
Same kind of thing with your graph. Your sine graph always goes up. So if it's negative, it's going to start going down. But remember, we also need to do two periods, right? So you can go in either direction. It doesn't really matter. But guys, to do the, keep on doing the periods, it's not, it's not anything harder. Just keep on adding 3 over 4. So the next one is 15 over 4, 18 over 4, 21 over 4, 24 over 4. And just keep on continuing doing it. And then obviously reduce the numbers that you can. This becomes 9 over 2. Um, that one you can't reduce. And then this one, you can do uh, 6 over 6. OK? Make sense? And remember, it goes infinite this way, too. All right? So it's really helpful, guys, if you find your important point, whatever your interval is, 3 fourths, and then just keep on adding those up. That's it.